channel. I have been in Australia for about maybe seven months now and I'm pretty sure I know a lot of information about Australia in terms of holiday working visa. This video as you can see from the title will be about 10 things that you should do as soon as you arrive to Australia and you're on a holiday working visa. These things will definitely help you to find a job in Australia, will help you to travel Australia really easily and these things you pretty much need to get a job and to live in Australia on a working holiday visa. The very simple things to do and all of them you can do yourself and I'm gonna be starting from the most important point to the least important points and there's 10 different points. So take a piece of paper and you can write all of these points down and get ready to work as soon as you arrive to Australia. Thing number one, you need accommodation. Without accommodation you cannot really get a bank account, you cannot really get a tax file, you cannot really get a telephone number. So pretty much address is the most important part of your journey. Plus, when you arrive to Australia, where are you gonna stay? Obviously, you have stuff like hostels, they're very popular, they're easy, but my own recommendation would be to get a shared house. I would recommend this tip, getting a shared house, because it's much cheaper than hostels. If you calculate it per week, you will have an easier settled life. Get to know people better, because people will be probably there for longer, and I think it will be nice and calm for you. However, hostels are another good way, because you meet loads of people in the hostels, of course. But everything is just crazy in hostels, a lot of, you know, partying, stuff like that. So it just depends on you. Personally, I went for a hostel for two first days, and I couldn't really handle it. Like, I really wanted to get my own routine going, like cooking for myself, you know, and applying for jobs myself have a normal wi-fi and all of these things so i went after two days for a shared accommodation which cost me so much cheaper and i had a room to myself now the reason you need the accommodation is because you'll be applying for a lot of things so you will need a proper address if you do want to find a shared accommodation then i would advise you looking at different facebook pages gumtrees and flatmates.com is a very easy way if you're looking at hostels obviously hostelsworld.com which takes us to point number two is getting your sim card i believe the sim card is most important because you need a telephone number and usually they will require address for the sim card so that's why you need an address then obviously you get your sim card australian sim card so you can have employers calling you your new friends from australia I have different companies and different sort of brands but i went for telstra myself because i got told that this is a very widespread network it works really good apparently in the outback so that's why i got telstra but there are many different ones so i think it just depends on you research which ones you want and choose one yourself takes us to point number three it's obviously getting a bank account now obviously you need a bank account if you want to work that's why you're in australia probably working holiday visa so you want money to be paid to your bank account now obviously if you want a bank account you need to have a telephone number and address to get bank accounts it's very very easy you go to the bank and you say you want to open a bank account and they will open it for you and there are obviously a different as well different banks but i went for commonwealth which is very popular and it's spread wildly across australia also i would recommend you get in a super nation account which is like a bank account connected to your normal bank account which is basically for your retirement obviously you won't be retiring in Australia if you're on holiday working visa unless who knows what happens basically employers will pay you money to the super nation account and then apparently at the end of your backpack here trip in Australia you can claim it all back now I haven't claimed it all back yet because I'm still in Australia and you can only claim it back when you leave Australia and that's basically how it works so get both of these and yeah thing number four that you will need is a tax file number tax file number is just like every other country you pay tax but in Australia you need to have your own tax to get your own tax number you need to apply on a special website which I will link down below so just go to this link and you can apply for your tax number there very easy you just put your information online and it will arrive to your post that's why you need the address within who knows but it takes up to 28 days that's why it's very important that you're in the address until 28 days obviously it might arrive quicker mine arrived within one week but it does say it's to 28 days so you never know that's why you need to be in the address for that time to wait for the tax file number because it's very important if you don't have the tax file number the companies will charge you a big amount for not having tax if you do have the tax file number they will charge you tax as well but you're able to claim that after you leave australia as well like i said i haven't claimed it yet but i am on my way to claiming that i don't know how much i'm gonna get hopefully all of it but we shall see. Number five, it's just an easy tip for you. If you already have bank cards from your own countries, you probably have done it before, but if you still haven't done it and 
I remember I arrived to Australia first and I haven't done it. All of your cards will probably be blocked because your country and your bank won't know that you're in Australia so you have to just call them or let them know. You can let them know online as well, depends what your country you are, a bank you are that you're in Australia from this and this so then your cards won't be blocked because your bank will know where you are and it will allow you to take the money from Australian bank account if that makes any sense. Moving on to the thing number six is a thing called a Medicare card which is basically like a health insurance. Now I know not all of the countries can get health insurance, I'm from UK, I can get that easily. All you have to do is search Medicare card in your town that you're in in Australia right now places will pop up and all you have to do is just go there fill out an application form and they will send you a Medicare card to your post very shortly with that medicare card you will get discounts of hospitals discounts of doctors and it's like a health insurance in australia for you thing number seven if you're planning to work in hospitality restaurants bars hotels you will probably be serving alcohol or you will be around alcohol which will require you to get a special certificate in australia called the rsa rsa is a special certificate that you can do online you have to pay for and it's like alcohol based um certificate without that you won't get a job in restaurants because restaurants will ask you if you have RSA so the quicker you do it the better for you the quicker you'll be able to get a job tip number eight now that is more to do with traveling if you're traveling because you're obviously on a hot working holiday visa so you're also taking a holiday and you're traveling in Australia that's probably why you're there then there is a really good app that I have for you and that is called Vicky Maps now Vicky Maps is very popular among all the backpackers you have to pay for it though it's probably five dollars something like that Vicky Maps will show you all the camping spots petrol stations free camping spots and it's just a very good way to travel around Australia especially if you're backpacking in a car which obviously takes us to point number nine and that's whether you want to get transport or what transports are you going to have when you're in Australia and if you're going to have Car. If you don't have a driving license at all, then forget about this point. I'm sure you'll figure your own way out around Australia and you can easily do that by hitchhiking or another very, very common way, Facebook pages. There are a lot of Facebook pages where people will look constantly for travel mates that people already have cars and just want to have travel mates so they can all go together. It's a very easy way, so find those websites. Uh, find travel mates and you can all travel together but if you are considering buying a transport car or whatever it is an amazing thing to do I myself have a car it has saved me a lot of money on accommodation because while traveling in Australia I used to stay in free camping grounds so I have not wasted any money on accommodation for two months all you waste your money on is petrol and food obviously a car is a thing that you have to put money towards fixing your car if there's any problems uh, registration and obviously buying a car you will probably get most of that money back when you sell your car when you're leaving australia what i would advise you to do is consider whether you want to have a two wheel drive car which is just a normal car however you have to remember that with these sort of cars you can't really go out back because you will pop your wheels and be stuck somewhere in the outback who knows four wheel drive which i have four wheel driving is a really good thing it's got really strong wheels and usually the car is quite big so you can build your own little house at the back of the car which i did and the last thing is a van travel van a lot of people have travel van but it cannot go everywhere like in the outback however it's a big van so you pretty much it's like your house it's more expensive but it's all up to you and whatever you fancy and whatever you want to go with and point number two is also to do with the car if you have driving license you basically have to make sure or check whether you can use that driving license in Australia for us UK citizen we can use our driving license UK driving license in Australia uh, as long as we're not staying there permanently which we ain't so we can pretty much use that as a normal driving license in many other countries you just have to check for your own one you have to change your license the territory that you're in so for example if you're driving around Northern Territory your license needs to be Northern Territory because otherwise you're not allowed to use your uh, country license in Australia and I know with that there's a few tests and money that you have to pay for. Everything is possible, you just have to make sure what country you're from and how to do it. But that is basically my 10 things what to do when you arrive to Australia. I hope all of these points help you. If you have any questions, put them down below. Give a big thumbs up so I carry on making these videos for you so I know you enjoy them. And if you haven't followed me on Facebook yet, then you should definitely check me out on Facebook linking down below and here it's medium car ah, message me leave a comment and we shall be friends so yeah thank you for watching i'll see you guys soon